Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Welcome to the world. If you were an alien uh, looking down on this earth for the first time, you would probably uh, think it to be quite an unhospitable place. Uh, storms, hurricanes, typhoons, tornadoes, volcanoes, earthquakes, uh, and more. And uh, you may decide just to pass uh, this planet up and go someplace else. Uh, anyway, there's a number of things going on on this earth right now that uh, many of you are aware of and uh, others might be interested in. Uh, it's in the weather uh, every day almost. And uh, I'm on a site here called windy.com. I've mentioned that site before. Uh, excellent, excellent site. And uh, I'm going to show you... Uh, some of the things here. I am looking at the pressure over here on the right side. It, it lets you look at uh, many different uh, categories. I'm looking at air pressure here, which is very close uh, to the wind as well. And uh, over half of my viewers, uh, subscribers are in the United States of America over here and in Canada. Uh, so I'm going to start over here. Uh, you've got a hurricane over here uh, that is projected to uh, hit the east coast of the United States here in the next few days. And uh, some of you will be interested in that. Go over to the Pacific. And you've got the Hawaiian Islands right here. And you've got a, uh, you had a hurricane up here. It came towards the Hawaiian Islands and then went north. Uh, there was another one, I think just a couple weeks ago, they, they were hit uh, pretty bad with a, with a big hurricane. And this one uh, is projected to come very close, if not hit the Hawaiian Islands at this time. Uh, presently, it's, uh, it's September 10th here in the Philippines. And uh, let's go over here. There's a date, a date and time scale across the bottom. And if I hit this arrow over here, this time scale will just go and project it out through the, uh, the next week or so. Anyway, let's go over here across the Pacific and over here to the Philippines, these islands right here. And you have this hurricane right here, typhoon actually. We call them typhoons here. And uh, headed, it's projected to hit uh, the northern part of Luzon, the northern island of the Philippines uh, probably about Friday or so and let me just go over here I'm going to click on Friday and see where that takes us it projects it uh, hitting up in that area now many of these typhoons go north and just a week or two ago Japan was hit by a very uh, hard typhoon and uh, did a lot of damage there killed a number of people and almost at the same time uh, they had uh, major earthquakes up, I believe, in Hokkaido up in the northern island as well. Now, think about something. The, the air pressure, of course, that's what we're looking at here. Uh, air pressure across the world changes, and you have high pressure, you have low pressure, you have pressure in between, of course. Uh, when you have these big storms with low pressure systems, you have low pressure on one side, high pressure on the other side. And... Uh, you have an earth that is not completely ri rigid. You have uh, faults in the earth and you're putting various, you're putting additional weight on or you're putting less weight in certain areas. And if there's tension in those areas, uh, there's a chance that uh, it will increase the risk of earthquakes as well. And a lot of these earthquakes uh, do happen uh, when you have major weather systems coming through. And uh, I'm going to tell you about a site later, I've mentioned it before too, called Suspicious Observers. And it, they, have a, a web, a, they have a site on YouTube and uh, a number of different websites called uh, what Earth uh, Quake Watch is one and a number of others. And they are uh, scientists studying a relatively new science about the sun. Uh, they're learning more and more about the sun and how it affects our Earth, the various storms on the sun, 
how and the sun cycles, how it affects our Earth, the climate, the weather, earthquakes, even our physical health and mental health, depending upon uh, what kind of uh, storms are going on on the sun facing the Earth. While I'm here at windy.com, I'll just give you a little bit more of an idea of what you can do here. Just uh, amazing how much information is here. Uh, not only uh, can you project out about a week or so, and uh, here shows the hurricane hitting uh, the Carolinas and Virginia up here. And uh, But anyway, you go over here to the right, and you have uh, a tremendous amount of uh, you can you can check uh, ozone layer, SO2 layers, uh, dust mass, CO2 concentration, currents, sea temperature, wind waves, uh, swells, wind swells, wave swells, visibility, cloud base, uh, fog, cloud tops, uh, high clouds, medium clouds, low clouds. Uh, dew point, temperature, thunderstorms, precip type, snow depth, uh, new snow, snow, rain, wind, and uh, radar with lightning is kind of interesting. Also, if you want to zoom into your part of the country when you have a storm going on, and uh, watch. Anyway, I will pull up wind. Very similar, but not exactly the same as pressure. Obviously, they're related, very closely related. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what you can do with, and you, if you go over here and press the arrow, uh, you can just watch it as it proceeds across across the week, see what is projected to happen. There. Now, this is a second site that I uh, frequent often, and I've learned so much uh, from this site, uh, suspiciousobservers.com. They're scientists that uh, uh, study the sun and the earth and the, the relationship between them. Uh, they have they put out a an app called uh, over here disaster prediction app and it's it's rather interesting uh, based upon a number of factors on Earth and what the Sun is doing uh, they predict areas and and they're relatively accurate NASA and, and other uh, scientific communities have uh, have used some of their uh, information and in helping to understand all those things, things that uh, all the experts are still learning. Uh, you can become a member. Um, they have Space Weather News, uh, QuakeWatch.net, um, a number of different things, many free videos they have. And on, on YouTube, they have a channel, Suspicious Observers, and they put out about a five-minute video every day. Uh, they're based out of uh, New Mexico, and they, they put a, a big conference on every year where uh, lots of scientists speak. And uh, Anyway, space weather, major warnings, uh, flare ionization, uh, different things that information they put out once a day, and videos uh, to introduce you to uh, to, to, to this science, this uh emerging science, if you call it. Um, you can learn about solar wind, energy from space, uh, electroquake, how uh, there, there are many people and lots of evidence suggesting that the universe is electric in nature. And uh, Anyway, there's there's a lot of information on that, and that's uh, <laughs> I'll let let the experts talk about electrical universes and uh, dark matter. People, you know, there's for years and years and years I've mentioned and told people about dark matter and dark energy. What I believed was a fact, and uh, uh, there are many and more and more people who believe that uh, there there is no dark matter. Uh, that is more of an electrical universe that. Electromagnetism explains a lot of the things. Uh, where dark matter, they, they search and search and search, and they continue coming up empty. They can't find dark matter, even though there are videos out there on YouTube and other places about what dark, dark matter is and, and what it does and how it affects the, the universe. Uh, nobody's ever really measured it or found it. 
Uh, so there's some really interesting information out there. They have some excellent information and videos out on climate cycles, long and short cycles uh, on Earth and the sun, and how it's affected uh, the climate and weather uh, over the centuries. And it is eye-opening and, and very, very interesting. Spaceweathernews.com is also one of their excellent sites. And they put out a couple of books, one for children uh, about the sun. And then they've just come out with their second edition of their, uh, their book about the sun also. And uh, much, much more in-depth than their first one. And I think it's going to start shipping in the next week or two, as a matter of fact. And uh, anyway, there's uh, they're tied in with a lot of the uh, uh, satellite systems, so they get data from various organizations about the sun, the weather here on Earth, and uh, they have the latest news uh, about solar wind, uh, solar storms, uh, the risk to our electronics. It's interesting. Uh, number of times over the last number of months <clears throat> uh, they have reported that there have been reportages of uh, electrical outages uh, communication systems down in in different countries and uh, very very rarely does the government or the media report that there is a solar storm in progress uh, a magnetic storm on on the earth being initiated by the sun and uh, there is a there is a there is a risk f from the different storms that happen on the sun and uh, you hear very little of that about it in uh, most of your television programs anyway just a an enormous amount of information that they're tied into and they can provide to people if you're involved in ham radio those types of things you understand how uh, sunspots and uh, the storms has have a big effect on how far you can uh, transmit out to, where you can transmit to, and just all sorts of information here. And you can uh, become an expert. You can become an earthquake uh, forecaster after you learn uh, the tools that they have available for that. And here's one last site uh, connected uh, uh, two suspicious observers as well. MagneticReversal.org. Uh, official data from NASA, NOAA, and ESA, and similarly reputable organizations. Uh, next official update in 2020. Uh, anyway, many of you understand that the Earth has gone through a number of uh, pole shifts and that the Magnetic uh, poles are shifting, have been for some time. And anyway, a lot of information about that. And uh, gives you gives you the maps, shows the tracking of where the, uh, the magnetic poles are shifting, gives you lots of information uh, about the, the magnetic field, the weakening uh, that's been going on. And... Uh, I'll let you read through all that type of information. Just a ton of information from NASA and the different uh, the different organizations. But uh, many of you uh, would probably be interested in that information. Windy.com. Uh, they also have a uh, an app for your uh, phone, a weather app that's uh, excellent, I, in my opinion. And I think I've used, I used about four or five different ones uh, different times. And uh, the one thing with the with the weather in the Philippines, it's difficult to predict uh, the, with the mountains and the currents and the winds. Uh, it's it's difficult to get real accurate local information. It might be raining up in the mountains or across town, and may or may not be raining where you're at. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I think you should check out those sites. Many of you will find them interesting and uh, for even long-term use uh, as you get to know more and more about those things. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like, please share the video, please subscribe. Safe travels to you all, and we'll see you next time.